Hey guys, uh, Dewey from the Eventerbot here. We're going to begin the assembly for the Eventerbot. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is this motor bracket here. There's two 1032 nuts that's going to be press fitted into these two spots there. And from there, with the two holes provided on the frame, you're just going to bring a hex nut. A uh, hex bolt in there and just tighten it with the socket wrench. Uh, those are the only two hex nut that was requested for the hardware for the machine. So you'll know which hex nut to use there. Uh, what we're going to do now is the footing. Flip it upside down. Put on the frame. Got that lined up. Um, the parts for the footing. This part right here is P009. These two parts, and these legs out here is P010. And you also have to have the eight rubber footings for it that's requested on the parts list and the 1032 screws that is for it just put the 1032 screws just in there and we tighten it down these holes are tapped if you're not going to tap them uh, you have access to put a nut down here through this hole. And access to put a nut through this hole, the motherboard tray hole. not going to tap them. And for these, they just screw on to the plastic part. Uh, you might have to clean the whole out. If not, then you're lucky. Alright, now we got our footing. Easy. Now we're going to work on the x-axis, I believe. Uh, let's do this part here. This thing. The spool holder goes right on the side. Uh, I'll use an Allen wrench because that's the type of screw I'm using. It's a 1032 screw. Again, this might be a little bit tricky. Take the screw. Turn it around so you guys can see it. So we have this. We have that. So these two screws here sticking out. Just gonna put this in there. Okay, this part is actually part number. This part here. Is part P-011. This part here is P-011 also, but it's part two of it. So what I did was just took super glue, you could use ABS glue, just glue it down. And after you do that, just connect it like that. Get your nut. Other nut. This one's gonna be a little bit more tricky. Should be okay. There we 
we go. Spool holder. Complete. Easy. Done. Now for the x-axis. For the x we have this right here. We have part P-016, which is um, this part here, and P-017, which is this part here, and part sorry, where's the X carriage? P-007, which is this part here. Um, we have four linear bearings, let's see if I can get one of them out here, four of these things, slide into place there, um, four 1032 nuts press fitted into these two rod support here. We have a switch. This is the end stop switch. Put it in like this. Lock washer. Every time this thing slides, this is just something I wanted to test out, not necessary. Every time it gets to its end point, the switch will tell the motherboard to stop the stepper motor. Alright, oh, I think we're good here. Let's just take these off. Ten thirty two screws here. It's getting hot in here. All right, so this is going to go through here. We're going to do the wire. Or we're not. in there. Just bring the wire through this hole here. The top hole. Oh. This top hole here. Okay. This is going to go in. Just like that. You're going to locate the this four holes down here. Not sure if you can see it. Oh gosh. These four holes are the holes that's gonna go through the rod support and screw on to those two 1032 nuts that we had. Pretty good here.
Shouldn't take me more than an hour to do this. And I've only did this probably about three times. Taking it apart and, well, taking it apart maybe twice, putting it together three times. Just tighten it down, make sure the linear rods in there cannot move. Don't over tighten, that's not needed. Everything looks good, nice and smooth. 